So this is our third week of this mesocycle. We do three week mesocycles. And right here, this is our last week of 405 and 325. If you notice, Richard has bar drift. So the reason why he looks like he's moving all over the place is because his arms are like a pendulum and he's allowing his arms to be further out in front of his center of line. So the bar is swinging back in towards him and then his body repositions to get back under the bar and then he kind of wiggles back and forth till he lines up. This night felt in particularly really heavy to him because his, his actual bar path wasn't correct. And if you actually look at his right arm, he was actually slightly curling the weight. This is something that needs to be fixed because it can actually cause a bicep tendon tear. So we need to get that done. Um, uh, it felt heavy for me tonight too. It wasn't very um, good night for me because I didn't really eat too much food and I kind of felt a little bit exhausted. And then right here, this is gonna be 40 pound bands. There's two of them. It's, it could be 80 pounds at the top, but I had to say 40. I don't know what the actual weight is, but we're trying out the monolith attachments here with this, which they work beautiful. The only issue is we're so close to the rack. We're like, the rack is very tiny, it's very narrow. So it's hard to get in and out of that space. And on top of getting in and out of that space, the other issue is the box is right up on us, which it's supposed to be, but we can't go far back and sit real deep on the box because if we do, we're going to smash the bar or our hands into that, that rat, the rack, and it's just going to be very awkward feeling. So what we need to do is we either need to expand this rack and, and fabricate it, or we're going to build a different rack and take care of this issue. We could squat on the outside of it, but then it's going to be so far in front, we're worried about the rack tipping. So we'll see if we can adjust to this narrow space or if we can we can go ahead and, and fabricate it. But the purpose for the bands is we're just getting a little extra tension at the top. So that way it's heavier at the top, lighter at the bottom where it's weaker and it's harder on the knees and just to alleviate some of that stress. But overall, it's a good workout.